Hello and welcome to channel Unlocks Hub. Today in this video I'll be showing you how to remove iCloud Locker activation lock permanently on an iPhone SE second generation. This is the iPhone SE 2 or the iPhone SE 2020 and it is currently iCloud locked and linked to an Apple ID. It is running on iOS 17.4.1. I'll be updating it to the latest iOS which is iOS 17.5.1. Do watch the video until the end to find out how to remove the iCloud Locker activation lock permanently. Click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post a new video. First step, click on the smart flash option and go to the pro flash option there. Now you have to enter DFU mode. Just follow the on-screen instructions to enter DFU mode. The phone is restarting, no problem. Let's wait for it to turn on and try one more time. The phone is failing to enter DFU mode, no problem, I'll show you how to do it using the easy flash method if your phone fails to enter DFU mode. If you want to know how to do it using the DFU method, do watch other videos, we have done multiple videos using the DFU method. Just wait for it to turn on. I'll be using the easy flash method. Do this procedure only if your phone fails to enter DFU mode. Click on the select local firmware and click on the import option and select the iPhone SE 2020 IPSW. You can see it says unlocks hub as 17.5.1 iPhone SE 2020 imported. If you need the files copy the email address given in the video description and email us right away. We are not available on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Telegram or any of the social media applications. We are available on this YouTube channel and the email address given in the video description only. So go to the video description section and copy the email address and email us right away if you need the package. So once that is imported, I've selected retain user data so the Wi-Fi passwords will be saved. Click on flash and click on flash once again. This whole process takes somewhere around 20 to 25 minutes. Do not unplug your phone at any point of time. I'm using an Apple original USB cable. Make sure to use the same. If you have any doubts or questions, you can ask in the comment section or you can even email us on our email address given in the video description. Don't forget to click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post a new video. You can now see the installation has started, just wait for it to complete, do not unplug your phone at any point of time. Click on subscribe button and press the bell icon if you haven't done that already. If you need the package, you know what to do, just copy the email address given in the video description and email us right away. And you can see it says congratulations, retain data flash completed. Just wait for the phone to turn on completely. Do not unplug your phone. Now 
This is the second stage of installation. Wait for it to complete. The phone will turn on automatically once the installation is completed. And the phone has finally turned on. Let me set it up quickly and find out if the iCloud lock is present or not. I'll be adding an Apple ID later, you have to do the same. Set up later in settings. And it finally says welcome to iPhone and now we are in this iPhone SE 2. Let me go to settings. And you can see it's already logged into Wi-Fi because I'd selected retain data flash completed. So the Wi-Fi passwords will be saved. You can log in with your own Apple ID and password or create a new Apple ID as well. So yes, this phone is now completely iCloud free and you can make complete use of your iPhone. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you have any doubts or questions, you can ask in the comment section. If you need the package, copy the email address given in the video description and email us right away. Thank you for watching guys. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.